So uh, today I got, actually I'll lay this down so it fits in the frame. Today I have a Gremlins figure. That's, that's new for me. No, but I'm actually very into Gremlins. Gremlins is my favorite movie. Uh, Gremlins 2 specifically, even though probably most people hate Gremlins 2 compared to the first one. Gremlins is amazing. So I love collecting these figures by NECA. So I'm going to display in the box. This is the Flasher Gremlin. Oh, I see. It doesn't fit in the frame, but if I lay it down, you can't. It doesn't look good. So I'm just going to hold it like this. Uh, this is the NECA Ultimate Flasher Gremlin. The Flasher Gremlin is probably my favorite Gremlin. So this will be a cool one to add to the collection. On the bottom there, you can see all the sculptors, painters. There's a lot of scuffs. That, wow. The bottom of that's really messed up. So yeah, I'll be opening up this uh, NECA figure, even though I already know it's going to be good. I'll review it, I guess you could say. But all of NECA's stuff is great. Sometimes figures can't hold things, but that's like the only flaw I find to NECA. Oh, and some of the gremlins have a hard time standing, but that's it. Oh, I should have, oops. I should have shown the window before I, before I opened it. There you go, that's the, yeah, I'll just take it out. It doesn't matter. Get rid of this box here. If you're watching this video then, then you've probably already seen NECA figures before. This is basically the same gremlin they use for all their ultimate gremlins, but let's pop out each accessory first. Oh my goodness. This thing comes with four cigar. And we'll get into that later. All right, let's get out the gremlin himself. Take him out here. Oh. oh, geez, I just decapitated him. Hopefully that was loose. And uh, oh yeah, I could I could pop that pop that back into place. All right, actually before we look at the figure, should we pop his head back on? I didn't hear a pop, but I'm oh no. Okay. Oh geez, I just was that just sitting on there? How does that click into place? Okay, the head's back on. Hold up, I want to look at this hat. It like clicks. Oh, it's got a little notch. It's got a little notch on the back that clips on the back of his head and then sits on his eyebrows. Oh, that's really nice. It doesn't fall off. That's new for NECA, honestly. The, I thought it was just going to sit on there. That's, oh, that's really dark under that hat. Let's take that off. Okay, I know the main point here is the gremlin here, but I want to run through the accessories first. Obviously, you saw that hat there. Just a simple hat that I probably only remember from a few scenes from the first movie, but just a cool thing. I really like how it clips on. That is definitely not usually what NECA would have done. They would have just have it sit on there. So that's really cool. I like that. Gotta point out the the four cigars that I'm keeping in this plastic container because I'd probably lose them, which is probably why they gave you four cigars. I know in past Gremlins, they've given one, but I guess they just decided, well, let's just give you four. And I guess if you really want to put them all in his mouth at once, you could. Got a bow tie here. I don't know if it just stretches over his head or if there's like a... I don't want to break it, but I guess you would... Oh, that's probably why the head can come off. You take off the head and you... Okay, that makes more sense. More face head accessories. Got a, uh, the visor from the poker gremlin. Kind of mixture of the poker gremlin and the flasher gremlin. Kind of makes it a two for one here. Glasses. Kind of the same, actually, I think they are the same from the Gamer Gremlin. Same glasses, fit on his head well, so I'm not complaining there. Root beer, does this one come out? Yeah, this one comes out. The other one came out from the Ultimate Gremlin too. I was just curious if this one comes out, so. Root beer, just standard. Poker chips, less of an accessory for the Gremlin, or rather just like the scenery. Just kind of sits on the, on the ground there, but still kind of cool, I guess. And we got some playing cards. I believe these are the same ones from the Ultimate Gremlin. Some of these accessories are reused. Got a hand. I like how they included a separate hand so you could hold the... Oh, whoa. This has, like, beads in it. It's a Maraca mallet, apparently. You can squeeze in there. That actually fits really well. Wow. Now you can play the Maraca mallet anytime you want with that hand. Then the last thing is the puppet here. I don't know if I like it as a, a hard plastic. Maybe a fabric would have been cooler. But it is very small. It's got a hole 
on the bottom there? I know what it is. You take off his hand and it just fits over his hand. That makes more sense. All right, let's put the accessories all to the back there. And we'll look at the gremlin himself. This is just the standard. This head's really loose again. Oh, it keeps falling off. I might have to do the hot water or warm water thing. I don't want this to keep falling off. It just doesn't sit on there well. There's like a slight pop, and I don't know if that's what's keeping it into place, but even with that, you can still loosely take it off. I wasn't even putting that much pressure there. His neck doesn't let it go very far down, so I don't know if that's, that's on. I mean, I guess it's like it's on there pretty well. So as a figure for display, it's not going to fall off, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, let's try to take off this trench coat just so we can look at the articulation real quick. It's the same as any other NECA gremlin, I'm sure, but still... I do enjoy this fabric trudge coat. I know on the previous Flasher Grumman, it was just this rubber in it, even though that Grumman's worth like a f 150 bucks now. This is a really cool upgrade to have the fabric cloth for the trudge coat there. This is such a pain. How is it removable? Oops. You know what? His head will stay off. It'll be easier that way. One arm is free, next arm, easier. okay. Trench coat is off, put that back to the side. Let's uh, go through some of his articulation. Let's put his head on, this is ridiculous. Okay, head's back on, we'll start from the head. Again, if you've seen NECA Gremlins, you know this is just the similar articulation from every other Gremlin. Got the elbows. So yeah, that's all the articulation there. Hopefully I went nice and in depth for you guys. Let's uh, start trying him out with all his accessories here. Definitely want to do the poker gremlin first. He looks the coolest. I don't know if this is going to sit on his head. Hold on, let me look at the box. I believe on the box, it's just sitting on his head there, which is kind of a shame. They really blew me away with the, uh, the other hat there, so I would assume that this would clip in somehow. But I think it's just going to sit. I mean, I think it just sits like that on top of his head, which is... Kind of a bummer. All right, let's have him sitting down so it fits in frame. All right, now that he's in frame, I guess if you count this as an accessory, I'll just put it to the side of him. Uh, give him some poker cards. These, I know, just sit in the hands there. It's very, uh, very tough to get them to balance. And I'd rather not, I'll just put him in like that. <laughs> just have him squeeze him there. Root beer slides in his hand there. Car, I'm leaving the cards on the on the table here. Oh, jeez. I guess you can give a cigar to him. You mean, you're given four, so might as well, might as well use him, right? So yeah, this is the poker gremlin. <laughs> all, all of his accessories basically don't even clip in. They kind of just, you gotta balance them on them, which I guess isn't that bad. It's just a pain setting it up for a display. Let's move on to gremlin with the mallet. I don't even know what to call this gremlin. So I'll pop off, pop off his hand here gently and i'll pop on the closed fist okay that was i was struggling there i'll be honest i was afraid i didn't want to grab hot water because i'm lazy so nice tight fit i do i do like that it is a tight fit but it's not too tight oh geez i got to take off his hand for the puppet here too let's do that i believe it just sticks yeah it just sticks right into the puppet there oh the poor puppet and i believe the hat he's meant to be with this gremlin too and again, this is the hat that clips on, so when you turn it upside down, unlike the poker hat, it doesn't fall off, which that is probably, honestly, that's probably one of my favorite accessories because of that reason, that NECA usually doesn't do that, as seen with the visor. I feel like they could have made this strap a little longer and made it hook onto something, but whatever. I enjoy that they at least did that with the hat. Sorry, the lighting is kind of blocking his face, but that is the uh, second gremlin. I guess you could give him a cigar too. You can give any of these cigars, but let's do the final and my favorite uh, version of this gremlin, the flasher. Switch his hands back here. I'll slide. I should have kept the hands off for this part. That's okay. All right, that was actually, probably if I had the hands off, it'd be easier, but it wasn't too difficult even with the hands on. Obviously you could keep it closed and tight like that. I don't know why you would. You gotta have it open. It's the flasher gremlin, you gotta have it open. Let's pop his head back on. Oh, actually, 
put on the bow tie before we put that head back on. Bow tie is also not a very tight fit. I feel like they could have made this rubber a bit looser and made it a tighter fit, but just kind of rests loops on there too, which is, I guess it's not horrible. Kind of wish this, uh, this hand was a, or if they gave you two fists, because I feel like this hand on his left side here, or well, my right, his left, would actually be nice to hold the, uh, the fabric trench coat, but I guess you just have to roll with this, because it's kind of hard to see him holding it with that hand, I guess. Okay, not that, not that hard to balance, like other, I've had other figures from NECA that have had to help, uh, more of trouble balancing. But, uh, as you can see, it's, oh jeez. As you can see, the trench coat is a little short uh, by length, so it doesn't really reach his hands on the side there. You can bend the arms in the back, and then it almost, almost reaches his fingers there. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's a, uh, a better design having a cloth trench coat that just slightly doesn't fit than a rubber trench coat that fits well, but you can't move in any other position. So I guess it's kind of like a negative positive thing. But again, Flasher Gremlin's my favorite Gremlin, so I'm probably gonna keep it like this. I'll also give him a cigar here. Might as well give him a cigar, I gave you four. So there he is there, probably can barely make out the bow tie because of my light here, but it's on there. Oh, geez. But yeah, there's only a few flaws from this figure, but overall, I genuinely enjoyed the figure paint job Take this cigar out. Paint job is really, really nice. Even though it's kind of hard to see from my light here. Here, let me move it down. As you can see, paint job is really spot on. The eyes look perfect. Teeth inside the mouth looks great. So overall, paint wise as a figure, this is a really, really nice figure. Some of the accessories don't fit the best, but I do enjoy how the trench coat is at least fabric. Oh, wow, I think I just actually adjusted it to fit better. Hold on. Not sure what I did, but it really reaches his fingers now. I think, although I wouldn't really want to do this because it's fabric, I would put maybe, maybe a small amount of putty just on the outer part of the fabric here to his hands. But I'm afraid that it's going to stain the outside of the fabric there. So I'm probably just going to leave it how it is. Leave it how him... Uh, Leave it out his hands, just kind of rest there, almost grab the uh, trench coat. But yeah, overall, great figure. Probably my favorite NECA gremlin they've been doing with these uh, Ultimate Gremlins. I'm excited to see Greta. I know they recently just announced, or at least the box for Greta, but they've had the Greta figure for heck knows how long. They showed it off in a toy for years ago. So I'm assuming it's going to be similar to that. That's going to be a cool figure. Uh, I would have done this video with the SDCC uh, 2020 Gremlin, but Walmart sucks. I can barely find a Walmart that it only even sells NECA figures, but has the Gremlin uh, SDCC 2020 Gremlin. So anyways, that is the uh, Flasher Gremlin review here. I know it gets a bit pricey after shipping and stuff, but I still think it's a really nice Gremlin overall. Definitely a great one to add to the collection. So I thought this video was going to be over there. But thanks to Sky Amiibo Collector and his luxury Walmart that actually knows how to put stock out, I actually have my hands on the 2020 convention exclusive NECA unofficial Summer Games figure. I cannot believe that I'm even looking at the box, even though it doesn't fit in the frame. I'm looking at the box of this figure here. You can see in the back, it's got three different images of the same accessories. It doesn't have any extra accessories like the Flasher Gremlin, but it does have a few wicked cool accessories. And it's based off some poster promotion from, I don't know, some Olympic games or something. I don't really know. All I know is it's a SDCC convention exclusive or well, it's not technically SDCC, but it was a part of the SDCC at home thing. So I can crack the top of this open and take out this decently rare figure. Take them out, put 
put the box to the side. Check out this backdrop though. It's like a actual swimming pool from like a hotel room or gym or something like that. Kind of cool. Though I do like how they sort of revamped an old, why well, you can't see that, an old promotional poster. I wish they just made new gremlins. That's not just a essential reprint of these either Stripe or Ultimate Gremlin figures, because they're all just the same mold, just different accessories. He's all tied up more than what the flasher was. It's so difficult to, oh wow, to even find the stock or availability of this figure because Walmart doesn't even have it listed on its website. The only way you can see its stock through Walmart is by scanning the barcode of the box. And actually, wait here. I'll just show you the barcode there so you can get another device or whatever and scan it. And that is how you can see if Walmart has it in stock, but none of mine within like a 100 mile radius had any of these in stock for like the first two weeks it was out. And I never thought I would actually get the figure, but looking at it, same articulation as every other one of these Ultimate Gremlin figures. It is the striped version and not the gremlin version, the only two that they seem to be producing nowadays. Only thing different about him is he's got a little Speedo swim trunks that you can take off. And oh man, I don't wanna see that. No way, dude, keep them on. Very weird design here at the back to keep his tail sticking out. I find that kind of funny though. Anyways, move to the accessories. Got the two flipper fins here that are just uh, plastic that go to the bottom of his feet. Have the Olympic torch, which is actually a really nice, it's not just one solid color. Oh, you can kind of see it. Like this is like a nice brown leather handle or it looks leather. And then this is the more gold top and bottom there. And the flame even has a bit of translucency and a different gradient color to it, which is kind of cool. Then the snorkel which I presume, yeah, has a little hole there and the peg is on that side and you stick it in. Actually, wait, is this? Yeah, this is the wrong side. You stick the peg into the hole there and that's how the snorkel sticks to the goggles. Doesn't plug in very well just cause this gets in the way. I feel like it would make more sense if it went this way, actually. Yeah, it kind of does look better this way, but I believe on the box, sorry, that was out of frame. I believe on the box, hold on. Yeah, the box has it shown the other way where it's pegged into the goggles under the strap. But when it's pulled like that, the strap, unless you pull it over, that's the strap is just so high up that when you plug this in, uh, I guess it's not horrible. It, it looks just better on the other side. I don't know if that was like a different prototype of the figure but just how it looks on the box is not is not as accurate to how it should look on the actual figure anyways let's load them up with these accessories first thing i'm noticing is that it's a really tight squeeze into his little flipper there because this is a very hard plastic it's not as soft as it looks through like the promotional picture so his heel is sort of just like sitting on the edge of the flipper there, at least for that foot. I haven't tried his other foot yet. The other foot was a bit easier to slide in, but again, his heel is sort of just sitting on the edge there, which isn't horrible. It's uh, just a little bit rough pushing his foot in there. The torch is a bit of a tight squeeze too, and it's a little top heavy. So if you shake it, his wrist, or at least the joint around his wrist is a pretty loose joint. So every time you shake it, it sort of bends the other way. But if you have it straight up, it's not that bad. It's not going to go anywhere. And uh, the first thing that I notice about this figure is that with his flippers, it makes it super easy for the figure to stand, which is one of my biggest concerns or annoyances with the NECA Grumman figures. So actually, funny the flippers look, they actually act as a stand and it really helps you display the figure without it toppling over. And the final thing I'm noticing about this figure is that his goggles don't sit the best on his head. It's kind of hard to see the top of the screen there, but either the goggles just sort of sit over his eyes like that, which kind of isn't horrible. 
I know it looks pretty weird from your angle. It isn't horrible, but it just kind of sticks out his mohawk at the back. Or the other way you can do it is just by sitting on top of his head. But I guess that doesn't really fit the snorkel. Here, let me turn it. Doesn't really line up the snorkel with his mouth, more of his nose, which is a little bit weird placement. All right, I think I got it to the best position possible. And that is by not actually putting the strap under his mohawk like I thought it would go, but rather just putting it on top of it, just sort of like letting it sit there. And uh, because the figure is so stable, I'm not too concerned about the goggles falling off. It's a little bit of a weird placement. You just have to, have to kind of get it right in the right spot. So overall together, from the angle you're looking at it, it looks like his eyes don't even show up, but that's just because you're sort of lower to the table. And here, let me, if I bend it up, hopefully the goggles won't slide off. You can kind of see they're facing his eyes decently well. At least from the angle I'm looking at it, you're just at a lower angle. But besides that, overall this figure is actually a really nice figure. I think my favorite accessory are the flippers, just because it can help this man stand, which is great. I think a bit of a weird convention exclusive, but I mean, it's not one that you need for your collection. So I guess it's kind of why they did it as a convention exclusive, because it's almost like they knew you're not finding this out of Walmart. So they just kind of like made a figure that's not so sought after. Overall, wicked cool figure if you can even find it. And I'm glad I can say that I can add this to my NECA Gremlin collection. So I uh, thought the video was going to be over here, but I forgot to uh, throw on these glasses for the Flash of Gremlin. And I actually ended up snapping them. I did not put a lot of pressure at all on them. I thought they were the same uh, glasses as the Gamer Gremlin. So luckily I do have those glasses to replace these. But they seem like a much thicker and uh, less malleable plastic than the Gamer Gremlin glasses there, which kind of sucks because now these ones broke into two pieces. And when I align them back up onto his head, they don't even seem like they would fit because with them back to... It's hard to do with one hand. With them back together, they're very narrow and they wouldn't like fit onto his head. I don't know. It's kind of a bummer that they broke and snapped there. So I just wanted to add that bit. And then it kind of takes away from this really cool accessory that I, uh, luckily I do have a double of, but still not everyone will have another pair of these. So kind of stinks. Hopefully in future, if they do keep uh, producing these, these glasses will be a bit more thinner of a plastic, maybe more malleable, because these just seem really stiff. And I feel like that's why they broke. The other ones, let me grab the other ones. Yeah, the other ones here are definitely not as stiff or thicker plastic. Actually, they seem the same thickness, but they're definitely not as stiff, so they will actually fit around his head here a lot better. I'm doing this with one hand, give me a second here. So yeah, those snap around his head much better than uh, these ones that I didn't even get to that part. I just slightly opened them like that, and they just snapped and broke on me. So yeah, it kind of stinks, but whatever.